So welcome back to Wandering Into Wellness. Auspicious start. We are still <laughs> in Meadows in the Mountains. Um, and now we have a lovely guest with us today. This is Kitty Billings. Mm. Kitty is a yoga teacher and she is an Ayurvedic therapist. So she's here at Meadows in the Mountains doing some lovely workshops on Ayurveda and how does it relate to your daily life and how can you make that a daily practice. So she's going to do with us a fun little thing where we're going to do like a little mini live consult about me and Finn. <laughs> she knows nothing issues. of. She knows <laughs> this could be interesting. <laughs> and we're going to talk about them so that we can see if you guys have any of the same digestive stuff going on that we have that maybe this can be applicable to your life. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, no, yeah. So um, before we go into like yeah. stripping back you two, <laughs> your your digestive health, maybe a little like summary of Ayurveda in case yeah. this is a um, the first time like a whatever. major introduction. Yeah. yeah. So Ayurveda is ultimately it's the science of life. You know, we have these elements out in nature that today we can clearly see, yeah. and these same elements we find in our body, and Ayurveda works on like increases like so more rain there's going to be more water more damp around you know the rain leaves this real residue of mud that we can see everywhere and in our body if we're very watery and we consume a lot more watery cold damp things then it increases this quality in our body yeah. so uh, we use this principle in ayurveda very much particularly in the digestive system so can you speak through the three yeah so yeah sound by format yeah please. all right so <laughs> we've got the uh three ayurvedic doshas made up of the five elements. So we have vata, made up of air and space. So this is like the, the element of, um, you know, the space in between molecules that science talks about is very kind of um, physics based. And there's space in between every cell in our body as well as space that we can or can't see. Yeah. And then we've got the air element. So there is, the air element is like the burps we do, the gas we produce, the air that we breathe into the body, the oxygen that feeds into every cell, and naturally the air element is in nature yeah. uh, that we can uh, identify with. And then we have pitta. So pitta is the fire element. Mm -hmm. um, in our body, it is the heat. Our organs through natural cell um, osmosis produces heat in the body that regulates our body temperature. In nature, it comes from the sun. So we have that heat. Earlier today, we had a lot of heat. Yeah, yeah. We, we were like... like <laughs> and yeah, yeah, so yeah, this is how change. quickly um, elements can change in nature yeah. and also in our body. Mm. Today we really look to nature to go, hmm. Yeah, uh, so this the metabolism more like whatever that transference of energy yeah, into the Yeah, and absolutely. When we see, as soon as this goes away, fingers crossed it will the go sun, away. Yeah. The sun, the pizza comes and back, the, heat, the fire. And it gets rid of all of that liquid. And then the you see that the water, the steam, and that is like a beautiful quality to observe in the body and in nature. It starts to dry up some of the really damp qualities. Yeah. And we naturally use that, um, that, that system in the body as well. Yeah. So pizza of fire. Then we have kapha. So kapha is earth and water element. And they, this is like a really heavy but yet nurturing. You know, the rain brings nurture to the crops. The earth gives the stability for the trees to really anchor down. Mm -hmm. These qualities in our body yeah. create a really strong Solid. immune system. They create healthy bones in babies. And um, yeah, gives us, gives that lustrous sense that the blood is really nourished glowy, by the moisture, juicy, glowy, juicy yeah. moisture, well, yeah, and so, it's seen as the ideal or preferred dosha, in some way, I know this is maybe, <laughs> I know you're, says uh, the pizza, yeah, excuse me, I'm but always trying to get to a bit of kapha, right, yeah, kind of look, you know, down. we actually have, um, we're always seeking balance, so yeah. wherever we are, we're always seeking balance, and nature is always seeking balance yeah. too, so even though we might be sitting here judging the rain, our, our higher view would be like this is nature seeking balance yeah. you know and you felt yeah. that though today when we got up when we watched the long way up <laughs> yeah we did too we, we were like up, journey we were like, oh my yeah. god by the time we got to the top I was thinking I don't think I can teach a yoga class right now I'm yes. so hot I just need to lie I down was, and like, like regulate mm. my body temperature I was wondering why Lydia was hanging back and I was like what's going on she's like I'm trying to keep my heart rate up because I can't teach yoga <laughs> like this like, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to tell a story on the way up I couldn't even tell a story <laughs> I was like don't talk to me I just need to regulate <laughs> my breathing right Right this is the balance, you know, and um, yeah, the body tries to seek balance by bringing these other elements into it. And if we don't give ourselves that, that balance, then, then there's too much heat in the body and that, that excess dosha causes 
disturbances in our tissues and then can lead to like some really chronic ailments. Yep. So it's these elements that we always want to observe in our body and it's through the doshas that we get an understanding of how they move, how they become enhanced, throw us off our course or yeah. bring us back into equilibrium. So cool. yeah. Yeah. So who wants to go first? <laughs> Okay, oh, you're so brave. All right, fine. Okay, so um, when you do... Do me, do me. Yeah. <laughs> Normally in a consultation, it can take like a lot of inquiry about understanding how the body is. So we're going to do kind of a speed, speed, speed check. check. And so use some of what your dosha is already if you want to, like you want to fill Kitty in to, because you've done this. Yeah. Have you done some Ayurveda well, consultation? Just, Maybe I, you know, I've just read about okay. it. And yeah, you've, you've been own, inquiring, like, yeah. Little, opinions on it whether they're so this is another great point that I'm going to just lead us into some uh, a good Ayurvedic point is we are born with an, a prakriti an Ayurvedic combination of the three doshas okay this is determined at birth um, and this is something we can't change yeah and then we have vakruti and that is currently right now today in this moment and when we do a consult we look at what that vakruti is so we use the knowledge of our kind of hereditary uh, doshas and then we go okay today you were overheating because it was so your pitta may have been enhanced yeah um, and so we use a combination of the two yeah yeah but you can tell me what your digestive um, condition yeah, so is or what you're experiencing at the moment with yeah, your digestion. I think, I think in general, and, and this really in, in reality has been since I was a little girl because I remember my mom so telling me stories about this yeah. since I was like four or five. Yes. That when I get into stress or I get mm -hmm. into overtiredness, if I don't watch what I'm eating, if I'm emotional, if I'm maybe menstruating, mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. I always go to constipation. Right? Okay. And that's, that's where I would go to. And yes. then even whether I'm eating really good foods, and I, I think I make a lot of good, you know, good food choices mm -hmm. rather than, you know, I'm not someone who goes out late a lot, does a lot of parties, mm -hmm. you know, eats convenience foods, but even with all of those things, it's hard for me to come back into that yes. regulatory yes. place. So that in my head, I have this kind of overheat thing mm -hmm. because I would also have a pattern of a history of having like prickly heat yes. type thing okay. and I would have had so that's a manifestation of pitta, pitta through the right. skin, particularly because the liver is connected to the skin. Yeah. So the heat is coming out through the skin. Yeah. 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 So those are my, my okay. Amazing. And I said at the moment currently I have real dry eyes. Okay. Thing. Eyes so are also the liver. Yeah. yeah. So there's um, uh, already we know that there is too much heat in the liver. Um, so we can we use eye diagnosis, tongue diagnosis, pulse diagnosis, and then this kind of sharing of what you experience in your body to determine where the doshas are and um, what's in, out of balance. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay. Can I look at your tongue? <laughs> can you stick your tongue out for me? What? I've seen your tongue before. Mine looks worse. I promise. Okay, put it back in. Breathe. <laughs> you can I was going to say, I can tell that she's, um, her tongue is shaking. Yeah. And I, so I tell that maybe you're a little bit nervous about yeah. sticking your tongue out. So that's just the vata, yeah? The vata. Yeah. Okay, and then again, stick it out. Okay, stick it back in. So, um, are you happy for me to share a little bit about your digestion? Okay, wonderful. So, here we have this classic... Um, situation where she is a pitta prakruti mm -hmm. yeah but yeah. at the moment her tongue is very swollen in her mouth mm -hmm. and it is uh, a very light color yeah. and it is white so yeah. that swollenness is a kapha quality and the back of your tongue is quite swollen and it is lightly coated which tells me that you've got excess kapha causing constipation in your lower abdomen yes. um, but yet at the front of your tongue you've got red dots in between white, which is the heat. Mm. So red, anywhere in the body, when we see an excess dosha, it comes out as red. Red in the skin, red eyes, we know the liver is fiery. Um, red in the complexion, we know there's a bit of heat in the body and in the blood. Um, and when it's trapped like that, we know the heat is trapped. And it's the tip of the tongue relates to um, trapped like you might have a hot head. Do you ever feel like your your head is on fire or you might have headaches that are related yeah. to heat? Yeah. Yeah, so that is because the fire is trapped there. Okay. So one of the um, best things to balance out and bring some um, equilibrium into your doshas is to increase the agni. Now, agni in Ayurveda is the concept of a really strong digestive uh, fire. 
And when we have this fire is strong, it helps burn through that excess moisture and helps bring balance to, so it's like a pathway. It opens up all of your channels, your shwotas, to let the fire move through the body. So you definitely have the heat, but at the moment it's, it's very uh, trapped and stagnant. Yeah. yeah, particularly in the digestive organs. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in the tongue. Now, if you were to just drink really warm water, maybe with some ginger, um, and avoid any raw, cold, mm -hmm. uncooked, uh, foods as well as processed foods, like some basically like all the eggs yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if you did that, I was going to say your tongue might change tomorrow, yeah? yeah, and then the it will slowly reverse itself. But as an ongoing um, management and therapy for your digestive system, it would be something you know you would really honor warm cooked mm -hmm. soupy foods, maybe some light spices. Look at the six tastes in Ayurveda, like yeah. the bitter, astringent, and pungent, not just the sour, sweet, and salty. Yeah. yeah. Um, and honor savory foods over sweet foods, honor cooked foods over raw foods for the next day. And then you look at your tongue again, and then you see how you feel and observe whether um, the bowel movement has come about or whether it's just more easeful. Um, and also, yeah, you'll notice other things like. Um, you know, warmth might return to your fingers and your toes, yeah, and you'll find the heat returning through the whole body. So just in Western, sorry, in Western medical herbalism, they would say because they're seeing those aspects of heat, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. they would usually say to cool the body down. And like things like aloe, which would be a big Ayurvedic yeah, thing, yeah. which cools the liver, yes. would be used sometimes. It would be a, used later. But, so yeah, but right not now, okay. exactly, but usually, yeah. You know, like when if the, you don't want to, you want to hold the pitta back a little yes. bit, but not right now. Okay. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. But right now, your prakruti might be pitta, but yeah. your vakruti, your current imbalance, yeah. is kapha. Yeah, okay. So aloe vera juice would increase kapha because it's so moist yeah, 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 and yeah, cooling okay. and damp. So that would be the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have to be so mindful because yeah. aloe vera is given as a blanket. It's so good for your digestion. Yeah. Um, but it's not, we say in Ayurveda, this is a really valid um, saying and I've used it in my whole life is that um, something might not always be uh, elixir. It depends on the yeah, yeah. time of day. Yeah, yeah. It depends on the current season. It depends on your body type. It can really vary. Yeah. So we to tune into that. It, we, we're more um, empowered if you tune in and know how to read your body yeah. and know how to balance your body with these elements and a little bit about kind of trial and error because sometimes foods will react differently in your body. So we don't always give a blanket rule about food. Um, because it might change for you morning or night. Mm. You know, yogurt is a wonderful example. If mm. you have yogurt at 10 p.m. at night, it's going to dampen your digestive fire and it will be poison. You'll get this incredibly thick, sluggish, fat tongue in your mouth and you'll be like, ugh. You'll feel heavy in the yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything will be like um, very sluggish and um, lethargic. Uh, Until but you come in back the from morning, a late festival like <laughs> partying. Oh look where we are. <laughs> yeah. Would a bit of yoga be sensible then, just to kind of? You'd you'd be better off having water. Water. Okay, yeah. Just, okay, yeah. Fine, yeah. Okay. Exactly. All so right, you rehydrate right. your systems, yeah. but you're not going to snuff your channels. We, gotcha. we oh, have okay. this concept. It's in yeah. Chinese medicine, also in Ayurveda, that you want to keep everything open and flowing, keep yeah. your energies open and flowing, yeah. and then it will nourish all of your organs. Gotcha. Okay. But whereas if you take yogurt with. Um, with a spicy kind of dal, then it is more tridoshic, it's yeah. more balanced, you get more of a nourishment from the yogurt then, okay. yeah? So Even saying, combining on. yogurt with fruit. Fruit is a sweet fruit which manifests as quite damp in the body and that combination is really not advisable for somebody who has a swollen, white-coated tongue, even if you are told that it's so great for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You listen to your body and then you assess how it is then. And it's interesting as well listening to that because the last week in Ireland has been really hot, like we've had mm, this real wow, heat wave. Yeah. So in fact, where I would always eat like cooked meals like that, I would gravitate towards all my meals being cooked. I would mm -hmm. really eat sandwiches or mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. We've eaten like almost entirely salads mm -hmm. and raw foods. Yes. And then the whole of yesterday, we spent the whole day traveling and it was like, I don't know, 17 hours of traveling. Wow. It was very hard to get food. And by yeah. the time we got to our apartment, it was 11 at night. And yeah. we, like, we don't want to cook a whole meal now at 11 o'clock. Yes. Night. So we just ate fruit. Yes. And so the whole day it was raw, sweet, yes. cold yeah. foods. Yeah. Mm. Where does, actually, this is a weird side. Where does peanut butter sit on the oh, desert? Oh, yeah. so peanut butter. 
Hmm. I don't want to offend you. Just don't you. say it's bad. But yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, of you mean you're offended? Okay. okay. Let's see now. When you I was going to say, so he asked me a great question. Sorry. It's like right now you're asking me where does Peanut sit? And I, if I said, oh, it's so bad, everybody else is going to be like, I heard Peanut yeah. butter. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah. It's like but it depends. It yeah. Exactly. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. It really depends. Yeah. So I never say anything is good or bad. But does it balance it just out? Like, what food would it balance out with? Where would it sit? I know, if I know you had an mean. overly fiery digestion and if you had diarrhea, yeah. which is an expression of the body releasing fire from mm -hmm. your bowels and from your liver, mm -hmm. you know, peanut butter, but eaten tridoshically, so eaten with like a little bit of salt on it, um, maybe a little bit of honey, because okay. honey has this beautiful quality where it's not super sweet and it has a bit of fire in it. Yeah. Maybe some cinnamon, some He's nutmeg better, for the nerves. Yeah. Maybe on a like freshly browned buckwheat pancake rolled up with like some berries for some astringent taste Done. and then it's like try to you, know you guys should come to my house yeah, and brunch like that. say it's like <laughs> freshly milled buckwheat pancakes <laughs> with some yeah some ayurvedic herbs in the mix nice. yeah it's all about thinking tridoshic yes if yeah. you ate peanut butter every day because kitty said it's good for you <laughs> i would be like yeah mortified so yeah. Point. Depends. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. So on that note. Yeah. <laughs> Over to me. Do we, yeah. Well, you, you just did yeah. mine, I think, basically, in that <laughs> yeah, moment. Yeah, we kind of did. Yeah. yeah. So you've just eaten truckloads of peanut butter. <laughs> I sell peanut butter. I sell a lot of it. We make peanut butter. Um, we make a lot of it. Um, Maybe we can come up with an Ayurvedic tridosha peanut butter blend. Oh, with some, I am all up for creating some recipes. Oh. Like, put some turmeric in yeah. it. We could do like a... Um, like a vata pacifying, kapha pacifying, ah. pitta pacifying blend. Pitty yes, and please. Thin yeah. Butter. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, amazing. You heard it here Done. first. Yeah. <laughs> Every, we not really need to do this now. Yeah, actually, 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 <laughs> this then, is one of the things, this is the whole thing is about yeah. accountability and purpose, <laughs> and now you're in it too. And then it's amazing. Gonna be a giveaway. So whoever does yeah. the most oh, interesting enough. comment underneath this podcast will win a pot. Of oh. the first part of Finn and Pinky's. Yeah. Woo. I was going to say, okay, it's yeah. yeah. definitely going to be turmeric in yeah. there. Okay, yeah. Fun, fun, yeah. yeah. Great. Great. Later. We'll we'll have, oh, I'm already really excited about that. This. Is good. Yeah. Um, okay, so me? Yeah. Yes. What do you want? So do you I'd say? like to know what the current state of your digestion is like in right. the last day, last week. Okay, what so are the so observations? Observations. Yeah. This morning was great. I, every morning there is emotion. Okay, wonderful. Throughout the day there are emotions. Routine is great in Ayurveda, by the way. Routine is we really... Like routine. Okay, good. The more often... <laughs> yeah. oh, no, actually, no, that's not that's true. Not <laughs> no, not always the way. Yeah. But um, a good, situation. healthy motion is really yeah. um, symbolic of a very um, healthy digestion. Okay. Mm. Yeah, and probably mindset as well. Some degree things are just going in and going out. Yeah. But motions of the last maybe two to three years, I would say, that morning motion has got looser and looser uh, and so looser. So more fire, yeah. so pitta. Okay. So we like the opposite, which is super. But we yeah. might not be the opposite. Well, not necessarily yeah. the opposite, but not our pre it expresses. Mm. What did you say it was called? Prakruti. Prakruti. Our prakruti might be quite similar. Yes, I don't know. but your vakruti yeah. might, is different. Quite different. Yes, yes. yes. So um, that's motion. So any pain with the looseness? Any pain? Zero. Okay, that's like a good sign. Like any bloatedness? No. No. Like any like burping? No, yeah. not no. at all. Like okay. gas at lower end? Yes. Yes. Overnight? Okay. Yes. Okay. Beware of this guy bad. on the dance floor tonight. Oh, Sorry, no. Oh, Let's not ostracize him. This is nature. <laughs> yeah. No, you guys haven't nice. heard my stories yet. I yeah. know. <laughs> You're getting like the reverse. You're yeah, the exactly. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. So um, that would be the kind of the biggest like change I would say digestive is always really good I would say but the tendency towards a loose, loose looseness loose yeah form. and like three times a day or uh, uh, twice sometimes a day more. Like sometimes, sometimes more yeah. okay. but usually three times a day when yeah. I'm in work with stress it's not good yeah. like, it's just not good it'll be like an urgency to go to the bathroom it'll evacuate but it's not like not complete no, not, yeah not okay complete. like not like watery yeah but like Okay. It's a stressful. Yeah, it's a stressful thing. Yeah, and I know. And when I go home, so I, I don't eat. I find what eating during the day in mm -hmm. work it just doesn't really suit mm -hmm. me anymore. Yeah. Yep. So now I go home, and even though it's like only an hour and a half from bed, I find eating then seems to settle my digestive system, and then the next day things yeah. are much more stable. So I tend to not eat that much during the day. Yes. The odd juice smoothie. So you miss a bit of peanut meals. Butter. Yeah. Yeah, I can okay. do two meals a day. So I do intermittent yeah. fasting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like a yeah. 16, 8. Also sort of great. Thing. I was gonna say. Also great to give your. Um, Digestion, a break, yes. we talk about it a lot in Ayurveda, yeah. is actually eating when you're hungry. Mm. So routine is great, but don't force, we, um, the mind forces some regime on our body and actually the empowerment comes from just listening and yeah. sometimes when we travel all day and eat foods, we need to really listen and work out 
what kind of food we want to eat and when to eat the next yeah. day, you know, instead I love of the, just, like, like yeah. this idea of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's only 150 years old. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. we treat it like it's. Are you better? It's like 5,000 years old or more, you know? Yeah, um, so exactly. Eating when you're hungry cool. in our digestive health is important. In fact, they say burp. If you can still taste your last meal, you're not ready to eat. <laughs> really? Like yeah, it. because if you stack your food on yeah. top of your last food, we use this great analogy in Ayurveda where, you know, your agni, your digestive strength, your metabolism in Western medicine is, um, is like a fire. And say you've got your pit, the lining of your stomach is the bowl, and you're cooking your soup, and you've got your potatoes in there, and they're still stewing, and then you want to add more potatoes in there. With the uncooked potatoes, you've got this fermentation, a bit of gas is released and maybe a bit of like uncomfortableness in the belly as it takes longer to really stew this food that we're putting into it. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we've really got to make sure that pot is cooked and yeah. cleared before you fill it up again. So sense. burping, that's always a good way to tell. If you yeah. do a little burp and if you can still taste that meal, you're not ready to eat the, <laughs> the vegan raw peanut butter oh. thing or whatever. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. Okay, um, so... Okay. Are you ready to show tongue? me your tongue? It's not great. It's very dehydrated as well. But anyway, let's go. That's okay. Okay, amazing. So, go on. You're, did you look at his tongue as well? So, both of you after this are going to go and start looking at your tongue every day. Um, but that we can do at the end. But um, So, your tongue is more coated. Than hers. It's very thick. And this is the, I would say, the peanut butter. You know, I don't know if you're... Um, eating it all the time because you need the energy or whether you're mixing it with other things yeah. but this is a really coated tongue and yeah. it's all over the tongue it's yeah. not just at the back of your tongue you know what I think it might be peanut butter but one thing I eat even more regularly than peanut butter which I've actually kind of sort of been trying to mm -hmm. stop this mm -hmm. tongue yeah. is milk kefir oh um, okay so that's another thing that is also yeah. it's an extreme and yeah. you have this crack down the center of your tongue mm -hmm. which is indicating too much um, dryness okay so your pitta mm -hmm. If you think about a fire, how does a fire move through a dry forest? Uh, like Explosive, yeah. 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 So okay. there's too much dryness yeah. and your pitcher is whoosh. Just pushing through. Yeah, yeah which okay. also might have to do with some of the fasting. I'm not sure how much you fast. Yeah. Because that will also dry out. Yeah, it's an interesting one. That It's, like, it's 15 to 16 hours a day, so it's going to overnight. Yeah, okay, okay, that's okay, great. So you're not having terrible. two days of fasting. Big, no, no, I, I, just, I can't do that. I don't yeah, so you need to really honor when you're hungry that you eat and yeah. you eat the right foods. Um, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, okay, so you've got this crack which yeah. is dry in the stomach and... Do you want to um, see the next trick? Yes, show me the... No. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't do that to you. Uh, eczema. Like eczema, bad okay. Eczema. So I just came up when I was five years old. Okay. Disappeared again like two years later mm -hmm. after stopping like eating apples and drinking apple juice. As, yes. as per a traditional Chinese medicine doctor. Hello, John McLaughlin. Yeah. Love. Um, <laughs> Amazing. And uh, I'm re-emerged four years ago and kind of came in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I indulge it by scratching it. So stupid. Okay, so stupid. I, yes. I know now. That and that's the pitter and the heat. Uh, so yeah. here we've got another example of actually, can I, it's, is it quite it's, dry or red? It's, it's, it's quite it's dry. Actually, you know, in the, and that's better than it has been. Really yes. Like that's, yeah. So this is an indication of excess pitta because the rash and, the, um, and then the itchiness and the dryness is vata. So actually oh, you've got a vata imbalance as well as a pitta imbalance. Okay. And if you poke yeah. your tongue out again, okay. I can see the red spots at the tip of your mm. tongue as well. So you've yeah. got this dryness. Mm. Um, dryness, so vata, when it's excess in the digestive system, is cold and dry. It's yeah. not just dry. It's the worst. So, and you've also got this um, coating, which is a lot of dampness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, even though you're pitta, you're fire, mm. you need to nourish your body with really warm cooked foods. Okay. And I would consider doing like a going, stripping back and maybe just moving away from raw foods at the moment because yeah. your digestion it's can't handle problem. it. It's, yeah. it's funny, and yet I find, I find myself drawn towards green foods at the moment and yes. green raw foods. I, I don't know what it's about. Oh, but, yeah. I think we need to honor that as well, mm. but have a warm soup and then put some sprouts or some mm. raw green mm. things yeah. and mix okay. it in because, yeah, yeah. you know, this time of year we're still, I mean, it's spring, but we've emerged out of a really deep winter mm. and we need 
the lightness of salads to lighten our blood. You know, yeah, we yeah. in winter we really get sick, heavy, and curled yeah. in. Like yeah. kapha is very strong, uh -huh. and then we need to lighten up the blood and bring mm -hmm. this lightness mm -hmm. to our blood and our body. Okay. So, and that we can see nature just sprouts this green stuff, and yeah. that's what we want to honor and take into okay. our body. So it's abundant in nature. We should be taking it. However, how we take it honors the needs to honor our agni. Yeah. this digestive fire yeah, 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 yeah. and we can easily imbalance the digestive fire mm -hmm. and that manifests as these ailments Three in levels, the body yeah. mm -hmm. so for you I would highly recommend just honoring warm soup mm -hmm. still get your you know your sprouts your green leafy rockets and yeah. your watercress or whatever you use yeah. Um, your Put fresh herbs, or, absolutely yeah. mix it in yeah. with warm water and um, really think about honoring your uh, five tastes, uh, sorry, six tastes. Yeah, yeah. Once again, putting the bitter, astringent mm -hmm. and pungent. So mm -hmm. that's like pungent is the um, the ginger, yeah, yeah, yeah. the turmeric, the, stuff, the astringent yeah, yeah. of the leaves and the leafy Rosemary greens. And yeah, and yeah, all those fresh herbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then the bitter, I mean, that's a hard... Uh, Herb to take in, but oh, sorry, rocket isn't bitter. I don't know. Yeah. You know, rocker has a little bit of bitter in yeah, it, yeah. but maybe you might need to take a herb for that, like our yeah. um, milk thistle. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got some Ayurvedic herbs as well. Yeah. So I, t but I take quite a lot of cordyceps. Dandelion. I take a cordyceps fair bit of and mushroom. Tulsi. Yeah. I, I take How a, do you take those all those herbs? Uh, cordyceps I tend to take in tea form, like Great. a powdered extract yes. in tea yes. form. Uh, so whenever you take any supplements, yeah. it sounds like you're really versed with knowing what supplements to take. Take all of it with hot to warm okay. water, okay. as warm as you can, yeah, cool. because your channels are very blocked at the moment, and yeah. you've got to warm everything up and keep it all open. So the moving. And okay. I see we've got this beautiful plate of cakes here, oh, yeah. and this what is for me. I don't oh, even cheese the sweet tooth. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. this, like, like you know, sweet is like throwing me under the bus. <laughs> 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 I you do know this what? Every though? It, wasn't, it wasn't me. She, are you? Sure. Yeah, yeah. But are you better? The body never lies. So even if these two sat here and said, "I am so healthy," I don't. Have any problems? <laughs> I wouldn't want to sound like you know <laughs> ignorant because I trust that you know your own bodies. Yeah, but yeah. I would also say, okay, let's see what your body is saying, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. and let's see how connected you are with your yeah. body, so that you know we can actually really inquire. Yeah. And you know, I think we're probably getting near the time, or however I yeah, feel yeah. like I've spoken a lot. But if you. there's one really strong message I can say, and if it's um, if you don't follow Ayurveda, but you follow a number of many, um, like, you know, uh, dietary or nutrition things that you really love and work for you, then I say that is wonderful. Don't change anything because you might think, oh, it's not Ayurvedic. But the, one of the strongest things and most beneficial things we can do for ourselves is to take a food, really listen, really intuit, and feel is this right for me? Even though I just read like pages and pages of scientific document, sometimes they test those supplements outside of the environment of our body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mostly. Yeah, mostly. Yeah. So yeah. it's not combined with our digestive juices or yeah. lack of digestive juices. And that's so why like no studies ever reflect that everybody had this effect. Yeah. That's the, there's yeah. variances because people are in different states of mind, yeah. different states of being physiologically. Exactly. All things, and yeah. so, you know, this eat right for your blood type diet or, diet, or this oh, raw sorry. diet. <laughs> no, oh, I'm a bit like I'm that kidding, too. I'm yeah, kidding, I don't want to sound inflammatory, it's but just, yeah, it's just, it's just too hard. It is not honouring this yeah. incredibly um, diverse, unique aspect that honours. Okay, this morning what you ate mm -hmm. is not the same thing as you can eat tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Exactly, and, it, and like with your weather analogy, it's so that way, isn't it? So mm. Like we might be in a season of wet, yes, and that's like our overall element is yes. season of wet, yes, and then within that today there might be a massive period of sun, yeah, and then it might get super dry, yeah, and and we need to look at that exactly. So that we have like the overall thing, but mm -hmm. then we also have the topical layer that's changing. Definitely, and yeah, and as we enter on this journey of nutrition, it's going to change every single day of our lives. Mm. So understanding how to be more intuitive with your body and yoga comes into that as well as any kind of meditation practice that yeah. we do, um, you're going to be more empowered to make better decisions right then and there instead of just a, oh, I always eat, you know, my banana and muesli and milk yeah. with my routine. kefir. Yeah, oh, routine. The good the yeah, 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 yeah. So I really, um, I urge everyone to really honor this like uniqueness that you have and that it changes.
So what are you doing with your routines at the moment? Like, what, anything that changed lately? Anything that sees me, you kind of went, ooh, that's not actually suiting me anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh, so many. Um, okay. But, <laughs> yeah, particularly because when we're around this wet weather, it's like, oh, um, you know, keeping warm, keeping the body warm. Uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I was going to say, like, a lot of heat gets lost from the body and then we can feel quite cold and um, lose a lot of energy. But, uh, you know, at the moment, I'm really honouring, like, this... Um, daily routine of sharpening our senses mm. so I don't know I have time to talk about this you yeah just yeah just briefly so every morning we wake up and our body will excrete through our pores through our mouth through our nose our eyes our ears through our bowels our urinary tract everything that is in excess and that it no longer needs so in Ayurveda we go okay as soon as your body has these natural urges to go to the bathroom you need to honor that so that the um, yeah. the waste doesn't build up in our system mm. so like sneezing is a really good example living in the UK you know it's like everyone's so proper it's yeah. wonderful and it's yeah. like oh wait don't even at suppressing a burp yeah. Yeah. you know you've got to let that excess air come out of the the belly it's and so I was gonna say I was like I'm one of those rude Australian <laughs> girls <laughs> yeah. who burps on Burps the and fine yeah. restaurants yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm always saying that to my son I'm always going like get it out and even a sneeze you know even a sneeze it can be incredibly like um, noisy and loud but honoring the the pathway for that air and uh, that that process for the body to eliminate whatever it's asking to eliminate is really um, important and ultimately ultimately it cleans our senses and keeps us really sharp so we've got to um, in Ayurveda they say in this system we want to die healthy you know we want to die in a healthy body so that's that's I think that's my what aim. we all aim for, isn't it? I hope so, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope it's not just a dream. Yeah. <laughs> it's a path. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll all meet when we're 100 yeah. and see how it goes. And all the peanut butter will have yeah. to try to get peanut butter, which is going to solve all of our problems. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Kitty, thank, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Henry. This is a yeah, wonderful thing you're doing, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, welcome. So, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, so obviously we're at Medicine Mountain, so we'll be podcasting for the next few days. Hope we get to upload this before it all ends. Who knows? Um, <laughs> connections this far into Bulgarian wilderness are not like it. Um, but anyway, if you like and subscribe, and um, find us on YouTube or find us on iTunes. Uh, if you've been listening, you haven't been watching, I'm sorry for you because this is, place is amazing. Oh well, uh, but come here next year. And uh, yeah, post your comments and we'll be getting out loads more goodie bags in the next couple of days with lots of lovely stuff from Newsest and from other brands that we love in the website. Okay. And um, also, if you want to find out more about Kitty, you can find her on yes. kittybillings.com. Yeah, so my website has um, all of my information about what I teach and what I um, like to kind of practice, workshops that I have coming up, classes that I run regularly in London and in Bristol. So, and I have an Instagram account, so feel Ooh. free to follow me on the social goodie. media. And that's, that's yeah, it's at Kitty Billing. It's um, Kitty B Love Light. Okay. So it's a bit of a interesting one. But if you go to my Facebook, um, fan, my Facebook fan page, that's not it. <laughs> my Facebook, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's just Kitty Billing Yoga. So you can find kind of most of what I'm doing there. So yeah. Nice one, Debbie. Yeah. Thanks again. Yeah, Cheers. thank nice you. Nice <laughs>